So find the slope of a tangent line. This, these types of problems start with derivatives. But this time function is given in the polar equations. The point is also given in polar equations. It's an angle theta, input for R. Solution. Still, they want us to find derivative. Uh, let's, let's first write down what we know. We know x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta. Those are internationally known equations, actually. If you're writing down different countries, people or students are supposed to recognize polar equations from this. So, in this case, r is given as sine 6 theta. So, we're going to plug it in. r is given as a function. Thus, thus, therefore, Hence, x equals, plug it in, sine 6 theta, right? And y equals sine 6 theta multiplied by corresponding tails. For x, it is cosine theta. For y, it is sine theta. In calculus 3, this is actually going to be very important. We're going to do more stuff like that. So this chapter slowly takes to calculus 3. Now, they ask us to find a derivative. Now, x and y both depend on only one variable, theta. x depend on theta and y depend on theta. Both of them are function. That is a parameter. We learn what parameter is. So, uh, we just talking here about the formula for the derivative which we learned before. And the formula for the parametric form. So, theta Theta is a parameter. Parameter. Before we had it as a T, but it can be anything. So as you can see, we came back to parametric form. And parametric form has a formula for the form for the derivative dy over dx. What is that formula? Who remembers? Do you remember? dy d theta. dy d theta, which is used to be dt, exactly. Over? dx d theta, good job. So we're gonna do that. And then when you do that, you plug in the, the point. We actually did problem like this in parametric forms. It was just all in terms of t. And then you plug, plug instead of t, you see I wanted to write down t. Theta equals, and they gave you some kind of angle, pi over 12, whatever. Pi over 12. So we're gonna do that. Well, unfortunately, sine 6 theta is multiplied by cosine theta. That's a product rule. We're going to be doing product rule, but it's fine. Could be worse. So numerator uses the second equation. Be careful with that. Derivative of sine 6 theta times sine uses product rule. Uv prime is u prime v plus uv, uv prime. That's how I teach it at least. Derivative of sine is cosine 6 theta times derivative of 6, a uh, derivative of 6 theta, that is due chain rule. Copy sine theta plus copy sine 6 theta times derivative of sine. Product rule, let me more point this out. Product rule. My notation in my calculus one classes is uv prime is derivative, not derivative, plus not derivative, derivative. u prime v plus uv prime. It should professor teach a different notation, but the idea is always the same. I like the short notation. And then you do exactly the same thing with x. Derivative of sine 6 theta is again cosine 6 theta times 6. Copy cosine theta. And then it will be minus, because the derivative of cosine is minus sine. And I know it ahead of time. Sine 6 theta times sine theta. Do you want to simplify this? No. And we don't have to. Just plug in pi over 2 get the answer. The cool notation is a bar theta equals pi over 12, not over 2. Plug in pi over 12 everywhere. Luckily, sine of pi over 12 multiplied by 6 becomes sine of pi over 2. Sine of pi over 2 is just 1. 1. Sine of pi over 2 is just 1. 
cosine of pi over 2 on the other hand is what? 0. So we only have the right hand sides. It's cosine over minus sine of pi over 12. Nice. In the end, I can see they give you minus cotangent, but you don't have to write it down. You can write down cosine of pi over 12 divided by minus sine, minus sine, 12, not 2, pi over 12, which is, by the way, minus cotangent pi over 12. This is the right answer, and this is the right answer. This is your homework problem. Find derivative in polar coordinates. It's still using the formula of the parametric equations. Derivative of the parametrics, that's what we're doing here. Do you have questions about this? What do you think? People are like, not impressed. I can feel it. I can feel it. People are like, this is too annoying. I have 55 articles to write down due tomorrow. Biology report and history, some summary of Second World War. And we're doing this. So yeah, I totally understand that. That's the thing, it's very interesting actually. Especially I will show you today some cool graphs, but it's hard to enjoy when you're busy with something else. Let's do one more example on conversion between polar and Cartesian.